goes to the exact same thing. We see exponents, right? And we see we have an equation. So we want to look at the property of equality. And what we notice is the only thing we have to know about property equality is our bases have to be exactly the same. If our bases aren't exactly the same, we cannot say that our exponents are equal to one another. So do we have the same base? No. no. So what we want to do is now say, can I rewrite 125, I'm sorry, as 5 base 5 raised to a power? And you could say? 3. Right, exactly. So now I rewrite this as 5, 5 to the x equals 5, 3 raised to the third power times x plus 2. Now, remember, power of power, we're not going to add the exponents, but now we're going to multiply. Now, notice, ladies and gentlemen, I'm multiplying a binomial, right? This is, I'm multiplying by x plus 2. So I put it into the parentheses, so now that I can apply my distributive property, so I get 5 raised to the 5x equals now 5 to the 3x plus 6. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't matter what x and y are, but now do I have the exact same base? Yes. So guess what? We don't care then what the base is. We just now know that 5x equals 3x plus 6. Cool? Did you have to do that extra step where you put the 5, 5x equals 5 to the 3x? I mean, you can obviously shorten some steps that I did. I'm just showing it step by step. OK? You can obviously shorten the steps if you need to. Cool? All right. Let me just do one more um, because I know some students, uh, when they got to their homework last class period,